Hello, Internet. Jesus loves you. My name is Cody, and this is the Christian News Show we do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with GeeksUnderGrace.com. And we have quite a few different things to talk about today, starting with the Pope, which I know this is not the Catholic News Show, but often, like, what happens with the Catholic Church seems to trickle down to the Protestants as well. And the Pope is making waves right now because he says that women who have had abortions should be forgiven just like anybody else. And, like, I understand that being a big deal in the Catholic Church because they only have select few people that are allowed to forgive that sin. But I am very confused because all over my Facebook I have seen people who are Protestants who are mad at the Pope's decision. And I feel like I'm missing something here because most denominations are like, if you want forgiveness, you get forgiveness, that's all. Like, if you repent, you're good. If you are one of the people that are mad about this decision, please comment in the comment section below. I'm very, like, legitimately curious your guys' opinions on this and your point of view. I've always thought that we all agreed that whoever seeks forgiveness gets it, but maybe I'm wrong and that's not the case for some people. Next up, I want to talk about the blood moon happening between September 21st and the 28th because apparently it means the apocalypse. Again. According to some pastors, this blood moon will be different than other blood moons we have seen in the past. And I don't know about you guys, but I am tired of every single thing of being the sign of the end time. Like, we are in the end times. Obviously. Can't we just let it happen? Like, read Revelations and then watch a rap video. I, it, it's the end times. I get it. Next up, I want to talk about a movie called Risen because, whoa, it looks awesome. Basically, it's the point of view of a Roman guard around the time that Jesus dies. He rises, and then this guy is the one who investigates where the body went. Like, it's a unique point of view. It's fictional, so literalists won't have to be super worried about things not being completely accurate. Draco Malfoy's in it. It just, it looks great. Like, I probably have too high of hopes for this, but I am definitely going to go watch it. And then our final story of the day, I blew through this. I'm just looking at it now. It's going to be a short video. Either way, we're going to Georgia, where First Baptist of Villa Rica posted that they had a great opportunity baptizing a football team and their coach, a high school football team, on their high school field. The school was supposedly not aware of it. The church said, see, God is still in schools and it is a mess because a separation of church and state is a thing. So a couple of things. I hate to be the guy that like defends separation of church and state, but I totally understand it and believe in it. Then on another note, if you're going to do something illegal, which you probably shouldn't in the first place, don't post it online. And like, you could have done so much to avoid this being illegal, like maybe not baptize them on the football field. And again, I know this is a short video, but question of the day, how do you feel about separation of church and state? I always kind of take it as a given, like everyone agrees with that, but I can see why others might not. My thought process is I'd be really angry if I had a kid and I took that kid to a school and the teacher told them, to convert to Islam. But as always, I want to know what you guys have to say, so please leave a comment in the comment section below with your answer. Make sure you check out geeksunderrace.com for more geeky content. My name is Cody Armour, bringing you Christian news in a not so boring kind of way every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday in closing. Let the haters hate, let the Christian pray, and to everybody like, subscribe. I will see you later, and God bless.